My name is Phyllis Mueller. I'm the Chief of Staff for the Mayor of Idlewild and my husband Glenn Warren is the other Chief of Staff and together both of us run the office for the Mayor of Idlewild. Hey, the Mayor wants you. Do the pose, Max. <laughs> Mayor Max is the Mayor. He's a four-year-old golden retriever. We don't have human politicians in Idlewild because we're a smaller unincorporated city. I think when it started out in Idlewild, it was a fundraiser to help raise money for animal rescue, and you had to pay a dollar a vote, and you were encouraged to vote a lot. My dog, Mayor Max the uh, First, you know, won that election. He got two thirds of the votes, and then um, he died in office of old age. And Mayor Max the Second, who is the current mayor, finished his term and then became mayor for life. Deputy Mayor Mikey is the head of security for the mayor. That mostly means he barks at other dogs, including the mayor. But he's actually a very good security dog, so if I tell him to look for something, he will. Squirrel. <laughs> well, immediately get back on the job. <laughs> Deputy Mayor Mitzi is the secretary and treasurer, which means she's over how we spend the mayor's money. <laughs> Mitzi was born with a little mohawk on her head. She came labeled. We do all the things that a mayor's office would do. A typical day is where we go downtown and we park at different locations and we have the dogs on display from their mayor mobiles, which Mitzi and Mikey are in the mayor's Jeep and Max is in the back of our truck. We have the dogs available to do meet and greets with the public and the visitors. The mayor also does a lot of events. We do a lot of animal rescue events. We do a lot of charity work for other nonprofits or it could be a business grand opening. You can't necessarily please everyone, but the far vast majority love it. And then when they find out about it and they find out what they're doing, they contribute more to animal rescue. You know, there's so much more to Mayor Max than just driving around in the mayor mobile and greeting tourists. It really brought the community together from a fundraising standpoint. People got very involved. And on election day, when everybody voted, and it raised a ton of money for the animal rescue of the community. They have bring a very positive influence to the town. Particularly in today's political culture, when you're looking at a slobbering dog that likes to smile and brings happiness to people, what more could you ask for from a politician? The mayor has created friends all over. I've collected a bunch of addresses and people want to see the mayor, so I'll be riding my bike all over the country someday. If I can never get a couple years off from work. But the list is getting large. They're doing a selfie! Yes! Ah! Them out. You're amazing! The mayors and I happen to believe that the way to create peace on earth is to be loving. We pay for it all, we ask nothing from people. We are so active. Sometimes that can mean us helping somebody financially or spiritually. They might have had an experience of death in a family or a sick relative, and the mayor will come to create joy and happiness as much as possible or to provide the support necessary. Any town could create a little strategy, you know, that would make the whole thing fun and successful for them. And I highly recommend it. I get a tremendous amount of joy out of doing it. Happy Dog Pride Day! <laughs> <laughs>